Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us this morning. We are continuing, of course, to track Milton, expected to become a major hurricane later today. 51 counties across the state of Florida are under a state of emergency. Governors urging people along the Gulf Coast <clears throat> to take those warnings seriously. It is now a Category 2 hurricane. National Hurricane Center says Milton is expected to bring the risk of life-threatening storm surge to the area. Meteorologist Katie Gardner is joining us now, and Katie Milton is expected to make landfall on the other side of the state as early as Wednesday. Yes, it is, and with that, it could bring up to 10 to 15 feet of storm surge. Okay, so take a look at this. We've already got a Cat 2. By this afternoon, it'll likely be a Cat 3 and then increasing to a Category 4 before making landfall as a Category 3, again, bringing that life-threatening storm surge, the winds, the rain, Everything about this is just a monster of a storm. Now, the problem is this is a smaller storm than Helene, so the track could still shift a bit. The speed and strength can shift a lot quicker, uh, but we're going to forecast this and let you know what's happening. Right now, winds are up to 120 miles an hour with that 7 a.m. advisory. We're moving east-southeast at 8 miles an hour, so moving slowly, which is what's allowing it to gain strength. The pressure has dropped yet again, so the pressure dropping with the slow speeds give this storm the ability to gain strength quite quickly. Look at the rainfall totals in the last 10 days. We've gotten immense amounts of rain from Helene and then just the uh, disorganized low pressure system out in the Gulf ahead of Milton right now. So in the next seven days, much more rain is going to come in. It's going to be devastating for many, many areas. If you're told to evacuate, you need to do so. Right now we're looking at seven inches across St. Mary's, Georgia, down to Jacksonville into Palatka over toward Palm Coast. Our entire coastline set to get upwards of seven inches, potentially more of that rain. Now, as you look at future track, I want you to take a look with me into Wednesday as this storm churns in, looking like Tampa, Sarasota, Orlando, Daytona, Jacksonville, and Gainesville are all, we're all going to see major issues. Also, strong tropical storm force winds to come in with this particular storm impact, impacting Tampa. Sarasota, and then of course, even us here in Jacksonville. Now, the ground is already so saturated. We're getting more showers now, thanks to that low pressure system, that as we are still trying to recover from Helene, especially down in Tampa, and then you get more of that rain, more of those trees could uproot, more power outages could ensue. And locally here right now, we are seeing some showers. They will continue throughout the morning. Ortega, uh, Normandy, you're seeing showers down I-10 and 295 into 95 as well. So we'll keep you updated on all of it. You can read more about the tropics on News for Jacks. Dot com.